Hey guys, I am back. Welcome uh, welcome back to The Stump. It's great to have you here. We are going to be unboxing, a little bit late, the Budget Blade Box Knife of the Month for November 2019. Budget Blade Box by Poor Man's Preparing is, I've often said, my uh, favorite, and I'm not saying low-end, right, because uh, they're, they're good quality uh, blades he picks out, but less expensive, lower cost. I often compare it to the Monthly Knife Club Onyx subscription, which is like higher end, higher cost. Um, quite frankly, better quality knife, but um, you know, not everybody has that much money to spend. And so when you're looking to spend a little bit less, this is a great option. A lot less, frankly. So this month, or last month, or whatever, November, we've got a Steel Will. Steel Will makes some awesome stuff, and it is the Modus but it's um, not the regular modus, it's the little modus. So there's a big modus and a, and a small modus. And fortuitously, as a viewer request once upon a time, I had checked out the full size modus. So we have that to compare. So this is the F25, this is the F25M. I'm assuming the M means mini or micro or whatever, but this is the knife we got, this is the knife I have. So let's take a look. So again, here's the, the box info. Now I'm doing this video kind of late in the day, so we've got long sun, we've got shadows, and I apologize for that. We've got cold fingertips, which don't want to function properly, but uh, always very nice packaging from Steel Will. And if you've been around my channel for a while, you know I feel like um, good packaging kind of is a reflection of what's in the box. Um, company that sends you a crap product doesn't really care about the packaging. A company that cares about the packaging obviously takes some pride at what is in the box, so. Here's your little steel wool, steel wool, <laughs> steel will urban series. Um, congratulations, you bought it. There we go. Oh, it is, it is mini, huh? So we can hold up the mini to the full size there, just to give you a reference. Um, same quality materials, uh, all same materials, just smaller. So you've got the aluminum um, milled out backspacer there. You've got the FRN type uh, handle. And then you've got the, I should actually, before I check, what kind of, yeah, D2 blade. Okay, Just smaller in all respects. Actually, it looks like the flipper is not that much smaller. Clip is not smaller. Just a smaller blade and handle, really. Overall, um, nice fit and finish. A little bit, just a little bit off center. Um, I don't know if the shadows and the sun and all that are letting you see it very well, but a little tiny bit off center there. And this one is centered perfectly, but you probably adjust that really easily with the pivot. Um, but fit and finish overall is excellent. Like most steel wools that I've seen. I'm gonna keep saying steel wool, sorry. Most steel wools that I've seen, you've got a tip up only, but you've got a pocket clip that you can adjust left to right. So, about a medium amount of soup for everyone. Um, nice texturing on the FRN. Um, kind of, you know, a little bit of a decorative design there, like, you know, random sort of rocky pattern, tree bark pattern, but uh, definitely gives you a grip. You've got some jimping on the flipper there to help catch your finger. Everything's recessed, all the screws the same. Very uh, clean construction overall, though. Um, this small knife in my hand, though, a little bit, a little bit awkward. But, you know, there we go. You can get used to it. Let's just compare it to Big Brother there. So, uh, for those of you who need a small knife for legality reasons or just enjoy a smaller blade for EDC, that might work out for you. Really nice dark stone wash. And can we get a good shot of it? I hope. Um, not a lot of markings on the blade. Um, pretty much the same as the big one. Now the big one I like, is it's very comfortable in my hand. This little guy um, sort of disappears in my hand. Um, lower price, um, you know, for purchasing, but 
uh, like I said, well, for, let's let's get back to that. So, love the sheep's foot blade. I've always loved sheep's foot blades. It's it's kind of my, I, I love a reverse tanto and I love a nice sheep's foot um, as just blade styles for utility work. Um, they really it really is just a scaled down version of the big one. Good jimping up on the thumb ramp there. Um, two finger lock that I like to talk about is there. Unfortunately, my hand just doesn't. This is uh, this is a knife for people with smaller hands or who just really like a smaller knife. Very well done blade. Nice and sharp as I would expect. Um, I feel a little bit awkward grabbing it for the pull through just because of the size, but pretty easy. Very clean cut. And also, you know, let's recognize this 550 cord just basically stays outside through all the weather. So it's a little tougher, you know, weatherized than 550 cord that sits nicely inside. Slice, very nice. Also very clean cut, again. Uh, yeah. So the cutting edge that you get on this is very good. Uh, no real problems getting my thumb on that liner lock. It's inset pretty well. Um, I don't think you're going to hit it by accident, but your thumb has pretty good access. The jimping on it is uh, a little bit aggressive, but it's not the kind of thing that tears your thumb up getting on it over and over. And it is just slightly smaller than the full size one. Uh, I feel like I have a little bit better access on the full size, but I mean, not to a disadvantage or anything on this one. Um, and it actually, action on this one is really, really nice. I believe there are bearings involved. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I'll have to put text in. I'll have to look it up, but very, very smooth. Now we're gonna get the usual complaints we do with D2 steel. I like D2 as an edge retaining uh, utility type steel. A lot of people still don't like D2 steel and that's all personal preference. That's what the game is all about, you know? You've got to be comfortable and have faith and believe in all the materials in your knife. Um, that's, you know, for everybody to decide. So we'll probably have the same, the same group in favor of and the same group against. Um, is it the best steel for an EDC blade? I, that I'm not so sure about. Um, but again, that's, you know, I think in a, in a survival type knife and a hard use knife, I think D2 is great. Um, I'm not so sure if that's what everybody wants in their common EDC blade that's going to stay in a pocket all the time, uh, where moisture might be introduced more often. But we could debate that, you know, in, in another video. That's, that's not for today. Um, it is a very lightweight knife, though. Very compact for that EDC carry. You know. And in reality, while I like a larger blade and a larger handle because it's more comfortable for me, um, as EDC goes, this is probably good for about 95% of your common EDC-type tasks. Uh, this size I, I like because... Um, it just gives you that little extra reach and like say you pull your knife out in a restaurant and cut a steak with it and Yeah, a lot of people do that with their EDC blades um, It's going to give you more of uh, that cutting surface and probably be a little easier um, For stuff like that um, I mean, it's just to me. It's just a more comfortable blade size to work with uh, There's not a whole lot in the world that you're gonna get done with this that you can't get done with this so it really, again, this is this is something that comes all down to personal preference. What do you want to see in your knife? How much are you willing to spend for that? But Steel Will, is a, it's a very good mid-range brand all the way around. So let's talk about the ratings on this guy. Uh, I will say that once again, I think Jason has uh, picked a, a really nice knife for this month. I think that the value in the subscription, once again, is there uh, based on what you pay for the subscription price for the budget blade box. So starting at the top guys with the ratings. So originality and departure from previous designs. Well, I got to give this one a three because obviously uh, it's um, 
it's just a little version of this big one, right? For fit and finish, though, we're going to give it a five. Uh, like everything else I've seen from Steel Will, uh, fit and finish is excellent. I know the blade was a little off center, but you know, with FRN and everything, it, it happens sometimes, and it's easily fixed just by adjusting the pivot, no problem. For function and mechanics, we're also going to give it a five because this thing is whatever it is. If it's just if it's bearings or it's uh, just washers, it's excellent um, all the way around. So we'll give it a five there too. Practicality and utility, I'm actually going to give it a four. Uh, it is lacking uh, any kind of tip down carry, but you know, the truth is it's small, it's compact. Um, I think that for what it's designed for, for a, a small compact EDC carry, it does its job and it does it really, really well. Um, in in uh, comfort and feel, it'll lose some points for its size and its its feel there, but for, for its utility value, you know, in terms of something easy to carry um, all the time, it's got it. For production and out-of-the-box standards, obviously it gets a five. I mean, it's, uh, we saw the blade. The blade is excellently finished. Comfort and feel, this is where I'm going to give it a three. Um, now, again, I got I to gotta remind you guys that comfort and feel is different for everybody. So when I rate comfort and feel, it is how it feels in my hands and my opinion. Somebody with smaller hands or, or a different take on how a knife is supposed to feel might give it something else, but that's just where it goes for me. And cool factor also gets a three. Um, it is very subdued. It is very, I mean, I like the, the blade shape, but it's its not something that stands right out and says like, look at me, look at me, which might be something you want, you know, in your EDC carry. But it's not, you know, I always say this now, it's not a conversation starter. Uh, you're hanging out with knife guys or you're, um, just, you know, with friends or whatever, you take it out of your pocket, it's its not the kind of thing that gets noticed and they want to know about. And they're like, oh, tell me about that knife, you know? Quality materials also gets a three. While I do like D2 as a blade steel, um, you know, there's lots of room to improve on this. FRN handles, you know, it is very nice that it's got the, the nicely uh, milled aluminum backspacer and everything. Tons of room for improvement all throughout this though for customizability i'm actually going to give it a lower than average 2.5 um there's you know there's just not a lot of stuff you're going to do to this um it comes with a very very nice um very nice dark stone wash so you know you, why mess with that you could replace your scales, but replacing FRN with other stuff is, you know, you've got that inset liner. Like it's probably honestly more hassle than it's worth. Um, if you're gonna, you know, you're better off getting a, a better platform for customizing. This is just, you know, carry as is. Collectability value, uh, I gave it a 3.5. Um, to be honest, right now I can't remember why I gave it a 3.5. It's a full production knife. I don't think it's gonna go up in value, but I think that uh, you know, they come in different colors and finishes, so you could definitely uh, pad out your collection with, like, one of each if you wanted to. Value of ownership, I also give it a 3.5, though. I think it's worth owning just to have a, a small kind of lightweight carry. Where this thing does really well now, down at the bottom of the list, though, is value to price ratio. Gets a 4. If we're going to compare the platform to something like a Spider Codelica, it is very competitive price-wise. Um, so... Uh, I think that the knife you do get for the prices is, is pretty good. So overall, that gives us a 44.5. We divide it by the 12 categories. And it gets an average score, final score of 3.7. Pretty good for a knife, you know, in this price range, for a knife of this design and everything. Definitely uh, did well for the budget blade box. I mean, definitely worth, again, the money of the, the subscription for, for that month. Um, just it's not my style with its size and everything but it's still pretty good to have so once again budget blade box um, is a great option for those looking to add uh, good quality not great not the best um, but also not spending a ton of money on you know fancy high-end knives that you may or may not carry um, I love what PMP brings to the table so what are your thoughts guys on the mini modus um, I really 
honestly have not carried this recently, um, but I did enjoy carrying it, you know, right when I got it and evaluated it. And this has reminded me that maybe I want to carry this again. So looking forward to your comments. Um, might as well throw a link to PMP in the video description if you want to check out the stuff he's got going on. And in the meantime, remember, you are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you. And I will be back again real soon.